Hello guys, welcome back to Death Watch. We made it to the third act, the last mission from the fire. The base is on the verge of exploding, but the area is seething with tyrannids. The kill team must avoid the explosions and evacuate. Let's just roll with the same kill team. The Promethean has ignited and the base is burning. Detonation is imminent. The gunships cannot get any closer. Get to the new extraction site. Slay anything that stands in your way. All right, let's zoom out a little bit here. Get the lay of the land. So we need to head over there to get out. Uh, some red zones here. That might be fire. Probably have to go around it. Unless we can move over these. But I think that's a wall. I guess we can just check it out by moving up here first. It looks like we can move on that, so it should be okay. I'm not gonna bother with Overwatch in the first round. Let's just move our guys out. Pass the turn. And here's some big footsteps there in the background. Here comes the fire. So I guess if we stand on those, we'll get burnt. But maybe not in between the blasts. So maybe we can move across it. So we still don't have any uh, visuals on turnits, so I think I'll uh, move all of the way over here. So it's a little bit hazardous, but we'll do it anyway, for the sake of speed. So I have a feeling that the turnits will keep respawning in this level until we make it to the extraction point. So let's pass the turn, see what happens. So there we have some incoming. So that's a hive guard and two turrets. And another hive guard. Uh, so the <laughs> we have uh, three hive guards on the map now. So we just got uh, some of our hair burnt there. <laughs> so I guess the turnips will die as well if they stand on that. So we need to make short work of those two and then just continue down this way. So this is Brutus, our heavy gunner. I think we'll use this, it'll get extra accuracy. So let's just take a shot. So I took out that one. So it's just a little one left. He can still move two uh, paces, so we'll do that. So he's out of the way, a few other guys behind him. And they'll take out uh, this one there. So he should have one shot. That was not enough. So he doesn't have a line of sight. So I have to move him down here and take another shot. There we go. All right, so we have those two incoming. They are outside of range of the uh, pistols. So move our guys um, into overwatch, I think. So 
Should I watch north? This guy will just move uh, all of the way over here. And leave it at that, it's in the turn. So that one's undecided <laughs> whether or not to engage. But the little guys are coming, but there are not too many. So he's taking a few hits there. Here comes the fire. Uh, so there's actually fire on uh, two of the extraction point slots. Um, so you can take out this one. And I'll move him in here, so they're out of uh, visual range of the uh, turnets for now. Let's sit over watch this way. And the rest of the guys will also just move as fast as they can. So they'll be out of sight anyway. So the turners will have to come to us if they want to shoot at us. So here's the first brave guy. Take a peek here, see how many there are. There are big guys there as well. Let's move over here, take a shot. So this is Brutus, the heavy gunner. I want him to shoot at the, this one. And I think he should use a... Uh, a heavy shot. Ah, he missed, damn it. That was not part of the plan. I guess you can throw this grenade also, just to damage it. So Tula more can uh, move up here and hit it. But then he's going to be left out in the open there. Anyway, we need to move them off the fire here. It's coming right under us. So I think we're gonna have to move. I'll move him here and then can still make a shot at this one. Hopefully take it out. I didn't take it out. All right. Ah, he missed also. Okay, so we're gonna take some damage here. But hopefully not too much. I think this one has to move over here to hit us. But we'll take some damage from these two. Ah, I can still hit from there. a lot of hive guards. Yeah, so they're taking some damage here. I might make a run for it. 
Just have to check how far it is now. There's a Turner standing in the fire. It's one of those fire breathing Turners. So it'll head down this way around. Uh, and then it'll be out of line of fire of the uh, many hive guards up here. Just gonna take this one out. I'll just hold ass. Just make a run for it, really. Ah, there's one right there. So we're gonna take some damage from that one. Guess that's okay. Should be able to deal with that fairly easily, and then we are within range of the uh, extraction points in two turns. So I think running is okay. We will see. Some lucky misses. Did it move into the fire or not? We'll see. That one stepped right into the fire. Uh, <laughs> roasted to in it. So we need to move out of the fire as well. So move up here and take a couple of shots at that one, I guess. Maybe just up here, so we're out of the fire. Uh, take some swings at this one. So now it's retaliating. So we took it out. Oh, that's another hive guard. I think I'll move up here. I think I think this ability will uh, grant him all of his action points from the next turn. So I think I'll just move him up there. <laughs> That's another one. And we'll, we'll shoot at this one. And we'll use this ability. Or maybe we should throw the grenade actually. Right up here. Is it standing next to the other one? That didn't work out. All right, let's get his action points back. So there we go. So now we got the action points from next turn, and we will use this one so you can shoot at everything. Yeah, I think he also hit Tamir. That was not really a part of the plan, but he did shoot at all of the turrets with that ability. Um, and he still has four action points, so now we can take them out, I think. Oh, what the hell? There's one more there. And he didn't exactly kill that one. Although it was close. Right, let's move over here. Out of the fire. So he's not gonna have any action points in the next turn, Tamir. Alright, let's send the turn. So many turns. One coming from the rear as well. This is getting a little bit heavy. That's a fire breathing one. It's 
So I think we're just gonna make a run for it, really. Uh, uh, Brutus can't make it into the extraction zone. He just He's just outside of range, so maybe we should take out some of these turnips anyway. the first one, he'll shoot this one as well. So use that ability, so he uh, gets more aim. Uh, shoot this guy. Let's use this targeting link. Get 20% extra uh, accuracy. I'll shoot this one. There we go. Alright, so now we need to take out some of these guys up here. Tamir doesn't have any action points, so we're gonna have to use uh, Sengar. That one's low. But maybe the fire will take that one out. If we bring this one low as well, maybe the fire will handle it. Uh, so, I think that's all we can do really. Just pass the turn. Not optimal, but maybe the fire will kill those two. Seem to be moving out of the fire, unfortunately. Right, it's almost down. All right, we need to uh, need to just get into the zone. Should have made a run for it last turn, and we would have ended it now. So I guess we send the Brutus around here. So he'll be in cover of the rocks here, from the guys over there. And we'll just lead the other ones up here and, and shoot at what we can. Need to get these guys into the zones, and we'll just use whatever action points we have left to shoot. Take out this one. He's almost full health, so I'm moving him up here and hoping that they'll hit him instead of the guys that are low. So use uh, pain suppressant. And we'll just set overwatch down that way. And Brutus will move up here, so in the next turn he can make it out. So we should win, win in the next turn, hopefully. So he's putting the pain suppressant to use there. 
only taking two damage. So it looks like we'll come out on top here, not losing anyone. So my guess is that we win when we move Brutus into the zone. So let's just take out some turnets before we do that. So we get the extra XP. That's all we have in view, right? Yeah, just one down there though, but we can't hit it. All right, let's move in. Or maybe I can move uh, this guy out to just hit it and then step back in. I think it's too far away. All right, never mind. Here we go. Another victory for the Space Marines. So we're trying to level up Sanka, so that's excellent. You got a lot of XP here. Let's see what we earned. A power axe, that's not too great. Axe cleared, so you receive the pack of cards to open. Let's do that. So let's open up a new card pack here. Let's see what we got. Purity seal. And another assault marine. And another infernus pistol, so... Really not that great. Let's see what this is. Plus 15% damage to laser weapons. Uh, we have enough to buy another card pack. We have 128 requisition points, so let's do that. So we'll open up this one as well. And hope we have more luck. Ah, excellent. It's a Infernus pistol with a name. Fire Lantern. It has better range. They normally have free range. This one has four. And really nice damage. Let's check out the next card here. Ah, we got a veteran. That's good. That's a better marine than the standard ones. And a shield. Iron Halo. Wow, that's pretty good. So another named item. This war gear can only be equipped by an ultramarine, passive, immune to critical hits. Okay. Let's head back out. Check out our space marines in here. Just want to see what that veteran we just picked up. What's his uh, abilities and passives and stuff. Uh, preparation. Use once every two turns. Carry or carry over all remaining AP to your next turn. Wow, that's pretty uh, neat. Normally you just lose the uh, action points that you haven't spent. Dead Eye Shot, use every three turns, plus 100% accuracy for one turn, so you can't miss. Those are pretty uh, neat abilities. Let's look at the traits. Revenge of Sanguinis, killing an enemy has a 20% chance to return uh, one action point, so that's pretty good. Regenerative implants, always active. Heal 5% of max health at the end of your turn. That's also excellent. Missile specializations, all right. Plus 15% damage to missile weapons. We don't have any, but we'll probably pick some up at some point. So this guy is pretty good. It's a Blood Angel Devastator. So he's, uh, I guess he's better than Brutus. Uh, he's, he's just using standard uh, heavy boulder. Ah, we do have a missile launcher here that we can use, but we do have this uh, named plasma cannon. Let's just take a look at Brutus, really. He's, uh, he's an ultramarine, but he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have the uh, abilities and stuff that our veteran down here has. 
So we're going to use him instead. So I'm going to give him uh, this plasma, plasma gun here. So he's going to be a new devastator, heavy gunner. Instead of Brutus. So let's start leveling up our guys. Let's start with Timir. I don't think he has enough really to uh, unlock anything. Let's just see how far off he is. Ah, we should just uh, yeah, let's just save up for for the better abilities there. Senga. So we can open up this one. Let's just cleave. Attack multiple units with a melee attack, or we could open up something down here. That one's too expensive, but this one. Bloodlust. Killing an enemy heals for 5% of max health. So let's buy that. Take a look at regulars here. I guess we're saving up for covering fire. So we won't spend any there. Um, so Tulamar is a veteran. And he has uh, 5,600, but that's not enough to open up any of his uh, abilities or traits. What about war gear? Nah, we need 12,000 for that, so just let him save up. And Brutus is sitting over. Alright guys, that's all we can do. So in the next mission we'll use uh, Moria as a heavy gunner. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you all next time.